Hello everyone, Bobby Bobs here, and today we are going to be doing the Don Guard part of the DLC Don Guard, and we're going to be doing Don Guard. So we're going to say, I don't want to become a vampire, I refuse your gift, Happy Hanukkah. So be it. You are prey, like all mortals. I banish you. Bye, Serana. Okay, oh, oh. Dick. Hello? Oh, how nice. How nice of him. He just sent us out here. And now I'm very dizzy. I swore to Jetty, that's where we're going to travel now. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. So, I'm looking forward to this. Apparently we get an explosive crossbow. Well, an, a crossbow that shoots explosive bolts. And that is the most exciting thing I've ever heard ever in the entire existence of my whole life. It's amazing. All right, so Clackers and Lydia are back because we have gone back in time, so hooray. You guys died last time. That's, that's not good. Clackers, stop picking stuff up. There's a reason you died. All right. So I suppose we shall return to our Dawn God brethren and tell them the good news that I helped a vampire escape and then I helped... Uh, the fudge. What's going on over here? Okay, I would. I would talk to Ezran. Alright, whatever, let's go. Okay, here we are, going back to Dongar to tell them the bad news that we let out a giant daughter of a vampire out, and now the goat's gonna try to get there before me! I don't think so, goat. I don't think so at all. You're not a goat, are you? Oh, rabbit! Yeah! Killed something. Yeah, I killed the goat. Yeah. Oh, uh, elk. Whatever. I don't like to discriminate. This would be great if my goddamn horse were here. I'm gonna have my whistle command. I have my whistle power. Whistling for my horse, doo 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 doo. There's my horse, there's my horse. I'm gonna whistle for my horse. So whistle is a mod, actually. I don't think I've ever reviewed it, just because I don't know why I had it on, but I never actually took use of it because uh, I'm a goof. But yeah, it's a mod. I'll uh, oh shit. Oh whoa 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 whoa! Not fair, my friends. Not fair at all. Let me just. Use my unrelenting force to rip your faces off. And so the weakest vampires ever were killed. That takes care of that. Well, that wasn't fun. All right. <laughs> Sorry about that. Fine, sir. Look at this. I should have known it was only a matter of time before they found us. Yeah, you got it's some ball stuff going on, buddy. Recruiting. We'll have to step up our defenses. It's the price we pay for openly recruiting. We'll have to step up our defenses. I have news. I don't suppose you have some good news for me. No. Damn. Well, what do you know? The vampires were looking for a woman trapped in Dim Hollow. A woman? Trapped in there? That doesn't make any sense. Who is she? More importantly, where is she? Well, you see... Uh... I brought her home. I'm waiting to hear what any of this means. Well, they have an Elder Scroll. They what? And you didn't stop them? You didn't secure the scroll? Well, um... Uh, yeah. Right. So they have this woman and an Elder Scroll. By the Divines. This couldn't get much worse. This is more than you and I can handle. So you, we have to do something. Well, of course we do. I'm old, not stupid. Well. We're just going to need some help. 
If they're bold enough to attack us here, then this may be bigger than I thought. I have good men here, but... There are people I've met and worked with over the years. We need their skills, their talents, if we're going to survive this. If you can find them, we might have a chance. The A-Team. Right to the point, aren't you? I like that. Not like those fools in the Order. We should keep it small. Too many people and we'll draw unwanted attention to ourselves. I think we'll want Serene Gerard. Breton girl, whip smart and good with tinkering. Fascination with the Dwemer. Weapons in particular. Last I knew, she was out in the Reach. Convinced she was about to find the biggest dwarven ruins yet. She'll help us? Might need a little convincing. But she should. You'll also want to find Gunmar. Big brute of a Nord. Hates vampires almost as much as I do. Got it into his head years back that his experience with animals would help. Trolls in particular, from what I hear. Last I knew he was out scouring Skyrim for more beasts to tame. Bring the two of them back here, and we can get started on coming up with a plan. What is this? Any new advice? What's the Dawn Guard? Any training in heavy armor? Where did the Dawn Guard come from? I well, need training in heavy armor. Well, at least you're smart enough to want to learn more. I'll show you what I can. Sweet! Yeah, there's all my money. Enjoy it. Alright. Uh... Alright, let's go. Stay alert. Oh, I will. Don't worry. Recruit Gunmar, Soarine, Gerard. I want to do Soarine first if I can find her. Soarine, Gerard, King of the Beat the People. Okay. Do that real quick. And let's see. Oh, here comes that dragon friend. He's like, what are you guys doing over there? You guys want to do something? You guys want to hang out at Chuck E. Cheese? No, we don't want to hang out at Chuck E. Cheese. We never, ever want to hang out at Chuck E. Cheese. Holy shite. All right, never mind. You really want to hang out at Chuck E. Cheese. Yo, Great Cuddles of Worthington, don't get your ass kicked. Come on, come on, come on, let's get out of here. Leah, Clackers, take care of this goddamn dragon. You can swim, right? Right? Okay, good. Oh, hi. Hey, we, we're looking for you. I think. Possibly. Yeah, we're looking for you. There's a dragon over there. He's a little bit red in the face. Yeah, I don't think he can hear you. He's very far away. Let me just... And... He's dead. Really? Come on, just thank you. Is he not dead? Are you kidding me? Okay, good, now he's dead. Here comes Clackers. Alright. Hey lady, we're looking for you. You haven't seen a sack full of dwarven gyros lying around, have you? I swear I left it right here. Do you think mud crabs might have taken it? I saw one the other day. Wouldn't be surprised if it followed me here. Well, just look around, will you? Isran asked me to find you. Isran? Wants me? No, you must be mistaken. He made it exceedingly clear the last time we spoke that he had no interest in my help. I find it hard to believe he's changed his mind. He said some very hurtful things to me before I left. Anyway, I'm quite happy in my current pursuits. So if you'll excuse me... You had a falling out? Yes, that was my point. I felt it was rather clear. Look, what is it you want from me? Look, I got a robot spider. You want to help us? Vampires? Really? Oh, and I suppose now he remembers that I proposed no less than three different scenarios that involved vampires overrunning the population. Well, what are they up to? They're trying to make Count Chocula cereal. I... well, 
That's actually something I never would have anticipated. Interesting. I'm not sure what they would do with one, but in this case, Isran is probably correct in thinking it isn't good. All right. If nothing else, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to learn more about what's going on so I can better defend myself. But I'm not just going to abandon what I've been working on here. It's too useful. I need at least one intact dwarven gyro. So either I need to find the satchel those mud crabs stole, or I need another gyro from someplace. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? Oh, I got a gyro right here, baby. Right here. Mmm, baby. Let's go, baby. Fine, fine. I can't afford to forget about this work, though. Some very interesting applications. Now, where is it I'm supposed to be going? Japan! Oh, and Dawnguard. Ah, been working more on his secret hideout, has he? It'll be interesting to see how much progress he's made. I'll finish up here and head in that direction as soon as I can. See you there. Until next time. Not sure if I should be looking for her satchel, though. Because I'm not sure if, like, we need it. Like, maybe maybe if I found it, she'd be like, Oh, thank you, here's, here's a robot cake. I, that's not what she would make. She would not make a robot cake. I could take apart clackers. I'm not going to do that. Um, I don't see any mud crabs. Hey, if you see any mud crabs, kill them. Cause, oh, there we go. There's a mud crab. There he is. Did you take the gyros, Professor Mudcrab? You probably did. Nope. No, you did not. What about you, Professor Mudcrab? Did you take the gyros? Hmm. I bet you did. Nope. No, you didn't. You? No. No. Well, we've murdered all the mud crabs and no gyros. And now I'm getting hungry. Thanks a lot, game. Thanks a lot. Alright, let's find this other guy. He's making babies all the way down here. Gunmar, king of the... Alright, Gunmar. Let's play this game of hide and seek. Let's see if you come out on top or bottom or sideways. Or upside down, tied in a pretzel knot around my ring, smiling at me like you knew this onion ring was going to unfold just like this, seen from the prophecies of ancient Panera cakes and bagels. Yes, you knew this was coming, didn't you? Me and my magical horse dog. Shut up, horse dog. Ladies hunting. Clackers, how'd you get up here so quick? Was that him? Yep, that was him. Hello, fine sir. Don't mind me and my flying horse. Hello. How are you? Are you good? I bet Mind you are. You there. Hold fast. Hold slowly. This damn bear for two weeks. I'll not let him have any more victims. Isran needs your help. Isran needing someone else's help. Never thought I'd hear that. Well, I'm yeah. He's a few years too late. I've moved on. I have more important business to attend to. By killing bears? Besides, he can handle anything alone. He assured me so himself. Who could he possibly need my help with? We're up against vampires. Robot vampires. Vampires? That's... Robots. Well, that might change things. Tell me more about what's going on. We're not sure, but, you know, they're robots. By the eight. Yeah. All right, look. I'll consider it. I can't just leave this bear to prey on more innocent people. Once it's dealt with, then perhaps I'll see what Isran expects of me. Let's go kill this bear. Let's go kill this bear. We're gonna go inside this bear's lair and gonna cut off all his faces. Oh, bear boy, where are you? There you are. Berry, berry, berry balls. 
That doesn't look like a bear. It does not look like a bear, buddy. Okay, that's a goddamn bear. Holy shit. I'm the biggest bear ever. Oh, fuck. I'm, try I'm trying to whistle. I'm like, why isn't this working? Nope, you're wrong. Yep, now you did. Freeze, Ice Bear. You and your crimes against humanity will not be taken lightly anymore. And so the Ice Bear was taken care of. And so I took everything he owned. You ain't going anywhere, Pinocchio. You're dying. You're dying. I stabbed the air above your head. Bow of the hunt. Bow of the not taking. That was the biggest bear I've ever seen, and I am so happy I saw it. Good job coming out and helping us. Don't know how well I'd have managed by myself. You have my thanks. No problem. Helped me, so I suppose the least I can do is find out what Isran wants. He's still at that fort near Stendar's beacon, I assume. Mm-hmm. Of course he did. He's been working on that place for years now. He never lets anyone in. His own little fortress. Well, I guess I'll get to see what he's been up to all this time. I'll meet you there. And so Gunma walked away in silence, in peace in knowing that the day would not be ruined by a giant bear. And so I followed him. Hey, look, a cave. Wonder what's inside. Literally just came out of the cave. Literally. Literally. Liter literal all. Literal. 